Something deeply, profoundly wrong with our guy and his current wife's marriage, and I just can't for the life of me work out what it is. Welcome back to the adventure of Hall of Notes. Emperor, leader, restorer of the Persian realm. Zoroastrian, Persian, in charge of the Persian Empire. We've got a long way to go still yet. We're not quite finished. We've still got to become uh, the, 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 the Seosiant. Uh, so we need to control Trans Transoxiana and Kapulistan. Uh, which is definitely how both those things are pronounced. I won't take too long, so that's obviously just a little bit of a conquest here and there, taking a couple of titles. The big thing we have to do is cultural and religious conversion, which is going to take a bloody long time. Persian culture has been more or less stomped on at this point, and our religion is going to take a while to flip over, but it actually won't be so bad. So we can just go up to vassals, and obviously if we demand a conversion from a vassal, I don't know if I made it too clear yesterday, when we demand conversion, if they accept it, not only do they and their family members convert, but their realm also converts with it. So when we've got a bit more money under our belt, we'll be able to just go vassal to vassal, picking them apart, basically, and converting their realms automatically for us. We also have... Uh, what's what's this button? Is there not a hotkey for this? Whatever. Um, Zealous proselytizer. That's giving us a nice 25% convert faith in county speed. So I'm going to get our boy... Fabricate claims? No, no, no. Convert faith. Um... We'll start... Oh, I've already got him there. Right, so we'll start there and we'll head our way out. Now, this takes a bloody long time. Like, fucking years. Uh, we can also promote culture as well. That's going to take a very long time. <laughs> ah, like, bloody ages. But we will slowly, maybe over a couple of characters, we'll see how long I can be bothered to play this series for. We'll try and convert the whole thing back as well. But with this guy, I'm really hoping we can... Uh, I, I'm really hoping we can at least become the the the, the Seoshian, uh, or however it is you say it, because that guy is, he deserves it. He really does deserve it. So what are we missing over here? We're missing, uh, like, three provinces, maybe slightly more, that's okay. And then Kabulistan, what is that? We're missing a little bit over there, but really not much at all. So we are going to have to go to war with the Ghaznavids twice then, yeah? Yeah, because look, they also control this bit up here, bollocks. Okay, well, let's start up here with the actual kingdom, and then we'll move south, because the Gaznavids are going to take a while to kill off. So, uh, oh, well, of course, we can't declare war, because we're in a fucking mountain of debt right now. Oh, I can't be bothered to... I, I mean, we, we can... Okay, rather than abducting people... I was going to abduct him for the faction, wasn't I? We've already defeated them now. Rather than abducting people, we could abduct emperors... And ransom them out for the money. I think I'm going to have to try and do that instead. Anything we can do to scrape some gold together at this point, right? Hey, there we go. So I've switched over to uh, to Wealth Focus for a little while just to try and bring in whatever gold we can. We get the 10% bonus because we've taken the, uh, the, the the actual Wealth Focus. Um, along with some other nice little bonuses there. I think we'll go for... I was kind of thinking going down Administrator. Counselor Opinion plus 20. If we put our powerful vassals on there too, we can crush rebellions just by... Swapping around the bloody council as and when we want to. Um, and you are not a landed character, right? Can we swap you out for somebody better? Son and Vassal. That's a start. I would rather swap out and go for the best conversion. Oh, look at how much faster that is now. Nice work. Well, that's so much better. Um, right, well, we'll start near our capital and we'll just move out from there. What the hell's... Oh, it's on fire. Um, yeah, we'll start where we're based and we'll move out from there then. Okay, we're out of... We're out of debt. All right, um... What do we want to... Where do we want to start? I think we start with the warfare, because this guy's on kind of a... Kind of a limited time span at this point, right? Um, we can invade Kingdom... Oh my god, we actually can. We can invade the Gaznavids. I think that would probably be better, though, wouldn't it? How much round... How much land do we want from you guys, though? Hang on. Show me the, show me the decision, then we'll make a better... A better decision. Right. So... From you... Oh yeah, man. You do, you do have quite a lot. And then what about Kabulistan? See, that's maybe one duchy at most. Let's take a look here. Uh, so it's just this one and this one, right? They're both the same duchy. So we can do that in one more. We go for an invade kingdom on these guys, wipe them out. Yeah, I think that's the right way to do it. Okay, fine. Whatever's quickest, basically, because we we're, we're counting down the time with this guy being as old as he is. Right, so declare war. Uh, invade kingdom. They are vastly inferior. We can only do once per lifetime. We've got to make sure. Is this all within one kingdom title? Or is this? No, it's really not. We've got to make sure we get the titles we need then. So siege as much as possible. Shouldn't take too long to get through this war anyway. My dear, I cannot express how sorry I am. We've got much, much bigger things to worry about right now than the spreaders lovers pox through our court. Thank you. Court officials. Great. We'll deal with that in a minute. Oh, fucking hell. 5% um, chance. No, thank you. We're all right. Okay. Move up to here. 
Hit his capital. Now, we want to try and get as much war score as possible, as early as possible. Basic. Your basic invasion cast is bell eye, right? Get it done. Get it safe. And then, if we've got spare time to take everything, then you take everything. But that's a new one. Uh, long story short, we won the war. Uh, but the game did crash in the process, so I've loaded back to a reasonable time. Um... Yeah, I didn't really know what happened then. Basically, it said that we were at speed 5, but it was running at speed 1. So I tried putting the speed up, and it crashed the game, weirdly enough. You can actually see it, I think, in the last bit OBS recorded before it before it died. Um, around October time, it just randomly slowed all the way down and then crashed on me. So here we are. Um, now with all of this land, but it's still obviously not quite enough. It was an easy war anyway. It also turns out, in like in CK3 and like in CK2, when we do the invasion, I didn't invade beyond the borders. I just accepted it because I thought, you know, I'm not risking the crashes. Uh, and it just gave us everything that they had anyway, which must just be how it works now. Um, so what are we lacking then? So we still don't have all of this one. We have one province to go from Gaznavid. Uh, so this province up here, Wacken. And then we've already got... Uh, we need Kabulistan as well, which is against the Gaznavids too. So we're going to have to do two more against the Gaznavids, one more against Kashmir. Um, Gaznavids are quite strong, aren't they? Also our ally, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, not anymore. Okay, that's not a problem then. That was the only thing I was already concerned about. Let's drop these armies down. Let our gold tip back up and let's try and get this guy as soon as possible. Oh, we also have the Caliph in our prison. Um, I don't know why. We had a righteous imprisonment, so I just chucked him in there. Um, I was going to ransom him back out for gold, but it turns out he hasn't got any gold. So we're just going to leave him in there, really. Oh! Wow! Wasn't expecting that. Hall of Notes at the age of 62 died. Uh, complications related to obesity. Someone left a comment on yesterday's episode saying that the... Um, try to lose weight button doesn't do anything. So obesity, when you get it, will eventually just kill you off early. Um, that's a real shame. Well, here we are. Shahan Shah Bon Jovi. 39 years of age. Pretty good. Uh, obviously genius. We've got flamboyant tricks there. What's this kid like? Shit. Okay. And shit. Brilliant. Okay. That's... <laughs> Ah, it's nice and annoying. Well, I want to marry our half-sister. Yes. Guarantee genius and get pretty too. Um, I might go ahead and get rid of you. Are we married to you for an alliance? How's Duna need to get an alliance with Andalasia? Oh, good. Great. Um, I was going to say we'll marry our sister, but you know, we'll just take her as a concubine instead then. Uh, and our other one as well. Sod it. Why not? It's the Zoroastrian way after all. The people have been asking for it for a long time. Okay. Succession then. Um, I don't think I've ever had an imperial succession in CK3 before. Not in a not in a series. I've got, um, you know, I've got the Rome achievement because of course I do. But besides that, I haven't done much playing as an empire before. Um, to be fair, we're one point off of Sedusa. Just gives plus three intrigue. It'd be worth just getting that, wouldn't it? I'm going to go Skullduggery. We'll spend the next perk on Sedusa, and then we'll probably start heading down Schema, um, like our father before us. Ransom the Caliph, not for... Oh, he's got 178 gold now, though. Um, he also fucking hates me. Wow. Uh, <laughs> ah, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Powerful Vassal demands council position. 21. Oh, God. She's better than you, though. Although this guy's a king. Um, you're a duchess. I'm sorry. I've got to I've gotta let you go there because this guy really does not like me. Why don't you like me? Um, we're evil. Ah, he's a different religion. Right. In that case, we'll start working on the abduction eventually. You might accept. Hang on. Hang on. Hey, there we go. 140 gold. And like I said uh, briefly, that converts his capital and his family too. So that is like an insanely good deal to do that if, it, if possible. Rather than negotiating them out with the um, negotiate release on prisoners. If you just demand conversion, they'll accept it anyway. And they'll do all that other extra shit too. Fantastic. Let's check what our vassals think of us to start off with. Um, more or less just day-to-day -day business. Seldrix hate us because they have our kingdom level title. There's nothing we can do to stop that. Um... You don't like us. Why? Different religion. Fair enough. Oh, this is the guy we just vassalized. Demand conversion. Might accept. Might accept. Go on. I'll give you the gold. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, he's top of my list for people to abduct them. That's the, that's the round that we just took in that one big war. Damn, that's a shame that our last guy isn't able to pull it off. Give your father a sky burial. I think if anybody deserves it, it'll be him. Every vassal who believes in sky burials gains 20 opinion. Fucking hell. That's quite a lot of them. Bear in mind, we've only got, like, two significant vassals right now, which aren't our religion. One of which is a caliph, so obviously we can't do much with that. My god. I'm actually so tempted just to revoke the title and take the tyranny and just l accept it. 
Otherwise, it's going to be this permanent vassal that hates us. We could just do it in a single war. We could just get it over with. Um, what we'll do then is we'll take the tyranny, but I'll wait until we've got the abduction ability, and we'll just abduct the dude instead. Um, well, well, more specifically, as we're about to abduct him, we'll, we'll revoke the title. Will she convert, do you think? Let's give it a go. Nope. Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on. Let's have a feast then. Sod it. Why not? And let's also negotiate some alliances up again. Um, with our family members. Okay, that's not ideal. Paul McCartney. Brilliant. Family members can get married. So we've got Duran Duran. Um, the kind of Tuva. Uh, it's not great, is it? Okay, probably won't be going for that one. Let's all buy Alliance Power instead then. Um, so we've got the Deccan Empire. Wow. That's a pretty massive alliance to get. Done. Very nice. Uh, thank you, thank you. We gotta wait on the... There we are. Samra Ananda of the Deccan Empire is now our ally. That's a pretty massive one. Um, who else can we marry off here? Genesis. Assault by Alliance Power again. So we got the Hangul Raj, which is inside the Deccan Empire. Bit point it's going for that one. You're bloody miles away. Um, the Shardom here. That's inside our realm. It might be a bad idea, you know. Keep them as happy as possible. I'm going to do that. Sod it. I would really, really like to be religious. Sorry, dynastic head. Because it's still this random dude over here. Um, House Duran Duran in the Deccan Empire somehow still maintains our Duran Duran. And then how are you a Duran Duran? Uh, oh, no. House Duran Duran. Duran Duran. Duran Duran. Duran Duran. Wow. Look at this. All the way back to Freddie Mercury. That's appropriate, isn't it? Given that Freddie Mercury's family in real life were Zoroastrians, uh, that, that descend from the, Zor the Parsi people that, that obviously moved to India to avoid religious persecution. Uh, we've accidentally given them a kingdom down in India. That's fucking appropriate. Not very happy about it, though. Uh, can I kill him dead, sir? Mother, can I kill him? Uh, we could, but it probably fucking won't help, because everyone in there... God, they need to really redo the house head stuff, don't they? It's two series in a row now. We've struggled to be house head. Because some random fucking AI that's half our size gets it instead for reasons I don't quite understand. Uh, not stand for the vile oppression of good og uh, ogres Azari, Azari, Ashari's any longer. Great. Uh, you want freedom, you should have it. Death, rally the troops. How many are we looking at? Uh, fuck. Actually, it's not that bad. No, it's not that bad at all, is it? Okay. Um, what a ball like. This is going to take a while, so bear with me. Raise the troops. Why is the rally point there? Stop that. It's from our, obviously, our last war still. All right, let's bring you down. I know, we'll bring you somewhere around here. That seems about right. Hey, we got the... We got the perk. We have to go Sedusa, don't we? Just to give us the three extra diplomacy. Takes up to 25. We're almost catching up with our last character, which is quite impressive. Um, oh, fuck off. Oh, that's a ball lake. Okay. Um, I don't really know where is the best place to start, to be honest with you. Well, starting by calling our bloody allies wouldn't hurt. Get in here. Yeah, please help me, for God's sake. Okay, um... Yeah, you can you can join. Why not? At least, I guess we have the bonus of thinning out all of our enemies in one fell swoop, right? And you've got to expect some rebellions on a, on a succession like this. Oh, we got them! Shit, was that it? That was a single rebellion dealt with. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. Right, okay. Swing around. Let's deal with these guys next then. So the, the, the kind of center of the rebellion is down there. Where's all their bloody troops, though? Is it just over there? That's all of them. They've sent all their troops over to this border. Fucking hell. Okay. Spin around. Let's go back there. Makes our lives easier. I wish our bloody allies would fucking do anything helpful rather than just walking around. Christ almighty. No. Where are you going? Turn around. Oh, they suck. <laughs> I can't believe how far allies have regressed since CK... Oh, come on. Since CK2. They were so fucking good. Okay. We're good. Thank you. I think it's time we either execute or revoke. I guess we'll try converting them first. Um, but if they then fuck around, then we'll then we'll just be done with them. How many, how many prisoners have we got then? Ten. Right. Demand conversion. We'll accept. Good. Demand conversion will accept. Good shit. There we are. There we are. Doesn't matter about culture too much. She'll accept. Thank fucking God. And that is converting their capital too. Uh, all family members convert. Okay, that's pretty good. So it's not the the old fashioned way of of or, or the regular version of uh, demanding conversion. So when you negotiate release, and then there's obviously this one too. But then there is obviously the right click when they're not in prison option. Yeah, uh, converting his whole family is actually very important. 
Because that means doing it at the top level and obviously working back is nowhere near as useful. Because the next generation, they're just going to come and... Just going to come back to their old religion again. Right, there we are. Um, what about you? Who else have we got in here, then? Lowborn? Execute him. No, we could torture him. Save some torture stock. Uh, and I can't convert any of these others, then. Um, who are you, then? My prisoner. She's highborn. I mean, they are all highborn, but... She's part of someone's court. Ah, oh, you know what? Leave him in there. Like I said, we got torture fodder for when we finally get up to that point. Ransom her out for 10 gold. Ugh, go on then. We need to pay off a little bit of debt. But I just went through the factions tab and basically demanded conversions of everybody in there. Um, only about half of them accepted, but it was enough to dismantle basically every single faction here. So we can pretty much more or less ignore that for the time being. Um, and how many vassals have we got that not that, that kind of hate us now? Um, you're minus 50. Well, you are the <laughs> getting the, the caliph, so that's understandable. Um... That's fine. I, I think... I wish there was a, a, in the character finder a not by religion option like there was in CK2. Because that would be so fucking useful right now. Okay, that should be kidnapping, right? Yeah, here we go. So I've got a list of uh, infidels up here that we're just going to go one by one and kidnap. 95% uh, there you go. The bonus of having all this crazy amount of intrigue. That's why I think the seducer perk was the right play. 20% intrigue and the 20% fertility too. And the 40 attraction pinning is good against female vassals. And I, I think we've only got one, but it's still pretty massive. Oh. Oh, God. The bubonic plague, huh? Uh. Isolate her. Shit. Is that in our capital? Oh. Good. Send for a physician quickly, then. Um. Uh. You. You do something with your life. Oh, fuck. Uh. 225 gold. Ah, oh, she is quite skilled. Fine. Whatever. Um. Drastic measures. What's he like? He's not very good. There'll be no treatment. <laughs> Ooh. Hello. For the third night in a row, I'm sitting at this table in the same inn, and it's an excellent view of the bar with the captivating barmaid behind it. My daydream is interrupted when my Mobada Mobad, Mobada Mobad, Depeche Mobad slams my tanker down on the table. I've seen you gawking at Donya all night. He whispers with a sly smile. Do not blame you. She's a handsome woman. Do you want me to make introductions? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She becomes our lover. Uh, 50 lifestyle experience. Show me the way, dearest. You lay with her. 50 lifestyle experience. Or we become unattainable. I'm flattered. I just wanted to talk. Yeah, that's fine. Let's not cause any family drama. Dead as dicks from the plague. Okay. 95% chance of imprisoning him. Probably the worst time to come to our court. Welcome. My friend. How about that conversion? We can't for another... Oh, for a while. Well, we'll just stick him in prison for a year. Confide is not bad. Um, I think I'll stick with that one. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you are no longer overwhelmed by stress. You are overwhelmed by stress. Oh, for God's sake. Okay. Um, right. How are we doing with the bubonic plague? Can the trait bubonic plague? Good. Uh, no longer my court physician. She died of the bubonic plague. He's not swayed. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, I'm hoping... So our, our son and heir, Bon Jovi, I decided it was a choice between uh, stewardship or Marshall. I thought Marshall might be more appropriate. He came out shit. Holy warrior, confident knight, tough soldier. If he were to get the plague, there would be no there would be no complaints here. Oh, my wife's got it. And my courtier. Uh isolate them both. Just kick them out. My wife is dead. Turns out locking her outside didn't really help things there. Um on the plus side, we got chance for a new alliance now. <laughs> um <laughs> or we could marry someone half decent, I guess. Um, Deccan Empire. We're still allied with the Deccan Empire, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Sod that, then. Um, maybe a genius kid to replace... Or, or a genius person to replace all these genius kids that we're losing here. Um, I take umbrage with that. I'm sure any characters are capable of bearing children. Hello, it's me, a one-year-old. Um... I feel like they probably shouldn't be included under the fertile bracket, but maybe that's just me. Uh, right, let's go for age difference. Oh, that's quite nice. 5, 10, or 15, for God's sake. Uh, adults, preferably. Uh, just any, like, a uh, like genius would be great. I mean, Herculean, I'd love to get that into the family. Uh, go on, then. Let's try Herculean. Try and stay alive a bit longer so we can achieve some more ridiculous goals. The Gaznamids are in the middle of a big old rebellion, and we need their stuff. He's a panther. We need their stuff. Uh, what stuff did we need again? Uh, like, like this crap around here, right? Show, 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 she ends. Um, so we don't have all of... 
Transoxiania. Okay. Uh, we don't have the whole of Kabulistan. I think we should probably start with Kabulistan. Yeah? Because then our vassals might just take the other single province if we're lucky. Um, conquer Duchy. Uh, change objective. Uh, Zabulistan? I assume? Certainly looks about right. What's, why can't we do that? Because we're less than... Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, uh, your lands? That counts. We can't do that one because we're not... Oh, oh, fuck off. Um, okay. Uh, we can invade a kingdom if we get some more prestige and invade the whole thing. Oh! Hold on, then. Let's just wait until we get enough prestige. That's a much better idea. Um, you don't like me the most, so I'm going to make you... Yeah, you can you can be my counselor. Quickly, feast our way to greatness. <laughs> what do you mean there's plague ripping through the court? Now nah, it doesn't matter. No gatherings or six or more, remember? Oh, don't die on me, please. We're so close. Come on. Live. Uh, who should we take? Ilkay? How should we want? 225. Fucking hell. Um, to be fair, she is a physician and she's got 17 learning. Go on. I swear to God, you fuck this up. You're going... Okay. She was going to go on the pyre, but she's fine. So, in theory, with this war and then taking Kashmir afterwards should be everything we need, right? Oh, you have to be insulted about that. Fuck. Okay. Well, give me that one then. Oh, Piss, but then we're not a high enough boy still. What do we need to be for that one? Oh, we just need shitloads of prestige, for God's sake. What about my claims? Oh, put claims on apparently everything, huh? Everything, really? 1700. Well, we can definitely do that one. We just need 1700, then I can press my claims on absolutely fucking everything. I don't know how I've got that much. My cousin's primary title. Oh, okay. All right, then. Fine. Um, now what we've got to do is just kick around for a while and build up, have more feasts, go on hunts, do whatever it is you do. Get another 300, and then we're fine. You found a holy order. Whoa. Uh, have we done this before? Headquarters. Uh, where do we want to put them? Does it really matter? Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. There you go. Boom. Grandmaster Orang has founded the Immortals. Oh, that's quite cool. Very nice. That'll do it. All it took was one feast, like I said. And another 150 there. Right, okay. This time, Gasnavids, you shit. My claims, everything, I believe. I believe that's absolutely everything. Give me your realm. I need it. It's very important to me for reasons I don't quite understand. Um, where's, where's the capital? Oh, bloody miles away. Fine, we'll drop our boys here and we'll just siege up towards it, I guess. Should we call in the Deccan Empire? Is it necessary? Probably not. I'm gonna do it anyway, I don't care. You can't stop me. Oh, fuck off! It's every single time you people do this. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, that's a rebellion. Fucking hell. Um, oh, is that it, actually? Oh, it's the bloody Abbasids. Okay. Uh, spin around, deal with the rebellion first. We'll come back here in a second. This is a silly place. You don't need to worry about this. We've got our allies on it. Right. Fucking every time I decide to do any sort of warfare. Oh, we're rebelling now. Oh, I understand why they do that. Um, it's very frustrating. Get out of here. Die. Right. Fuck off. Go. Into my prison with you. Right. And now we can finally spin around and do the bloody war. Ugh. If we lose this other fucking war now, I've just spent all my prestige on it. I'm going to be absolutely livid. What are our allies doing? Pissing around again, I guess. Or we'll just fucking die. Oh, whatever. God, this game sometimes does my head in. Uh, Marshall, sure. It's all we can really do is this guy, isn't it? Um, yeah, I've lost a load of shit. Sure, whatever. Uh, give me... Give me one of those. Okay, fine. Yep, Immortals Holy Order have gone. Don't understand why. Don't really care to find out. Okay, right. So, here we are. Third character in one episode. <laughs> ah, please run as fast as you can. For Christ's sake, Run, sail, fly. I don't care how you get there, but you need to be bloody fast about it. Kill them all. Kill them dead. Slay them. They're literally right there. Kill them. Kill them. Kill them dead. Yes. Good. Destroy. War score, please. I'm um, more than that is what I meant, but that's okay. We've kind of equalized things. Um. Right. So if we want to get to there, take an attrition. Well, let's go hit that one first then. I'd rather kill the rest of their troops, but that's okay. Minus seventy-one percent. What the fuck are you talking about? Where the hell did that come from? All of a sudden. Trying to control's war target. Oh, we'll deal with that in a second. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, okay, hold on. Fuck off! Hang on. Jesus, get out! Oh, I hate you. Right, 4%. Oh, right, okay. Where's his capital these days? He's moved it. Ah, very tactical. Uh, where's it gone? <laughs> Brother, where's your capital? There. No. No, it's not. Where's your capital? 
Uh, this one. Is it? Maybe it is. Evidently, it's got to be if it's pointing us there twice, huh? I'm not naming these kids. We'll deal with it afterwards. Otherwise, this war's never going to fucking end. Literally the worst war I think I've ever fought in my entire life. Six fucking years that took because our allies are morons. Oh, God. That almost made me never want to play CK3 ever again. That was just hell. I don't know how much I'm going to leave in. I don't think fucking any of it. Because it was quite literally just run around the provinces, siege what you can, watch them follow behind us, get into a battle, ally fucks off, we get smashed, rinse and repeat. Awful. Fucking awful, awful, awful. So here we are. Um, with a bunch more land that I've now got to try and control as a shit character. Shit, stupid, big hat, idiot, moron. Oh, right. Give it, give it all away. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Give it, give it to him. Oh, Seldrick. Nope. Or oh, not him. Uh, give it away. Uh, who wants it? Here. You seem like a trustworthy fella. Right. This. All this. Yours. Take it. Don't want it. Not interested. Boom. Done. Right. Just cash me. I'll have to go. Get out of here. Look at the debt we're in, for fuck's sake. <sighs> okay. Long story short. I ransomed all the people out. I had to give away a kingdom level title or some duchy level title or some shit. Basically, I gave the Seldrix a load of power. Otherwise, they were going to rebel. Uh, and to be honest, I've added up to my fucking eyeballs with warfare for one day. So we're going to go take Kashmir. We're going to name ourselves the best boy who's ever lived in the name of Zoroastrian. And then we're done. That's officially 100% campaign complete. All we had to do was scum our way there. I feel sorry for anybody who wants to do it without using intrigue. Because holy shit, this would be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> thoroughly, thoroughly horrible. This is it, though. Just this, and then we're free. 9%. Come on. 9% to victory. Boom. 38%. Get over there. Don't care about pregnancies. Don't care about you either. Come on. Come on. Come on. Pre yep. Don't care. 57%. They got a lot of troops. Wow. Way more than I realized. Okay. Run, run, run. Um, kill them. Kill them dead. Kill them all. Come on. Attack me. Yes. There we go. That'll be it. All score. 95%. Ah. Okay, finish the siege. Okay. Force demands. So be it. Get out. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't care. Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciate. Goodbye. Okay. Do we have the button? Do we have the button, brother? No. What am I missing? Please. 1500 piety. That that won't take long. Honest. That. Uh, give me five seconds. I'll, I'll do that in no time. Boom. Oh. We gained wise man. So we got that mystical knowledge event. We've had it a couple of times before. Uh, most of the time, they just end up getting addicted to stuff. This time, we actually pulled it off. Um, wise man. Learning plus one. Oh, is that it? Oh, fair enough. All right, cool. Hold a mystical communion. What is that? 100 piety to test it. God, I hope we get some piety out of it, though. Um, 300 life learning lifestyle, divine guidance. Oh, shit. No, no, no. We need piety. We just burnt it there for something. Um, martial learning, stress loss, and stress gain negatives. Uh, that was it, huh? That's not worth it at all. Pilgrimage. That's good for piety, isn't it? What did we need again? Some. Uh, let's go on a very long pilgrimage. Sod it. 380. That'll do it. Perfect. Um, what do we need again? 1500. Actually, this might just about get us there. If I hadn't spent the other one, we'd have been, we'd have been fine. Um, yeah, this one. Come on. Walk the holy path. Damn, not quite. 200 away. New learning lifestyle perk. Gives us clergy opinion plus 10. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's just what we wanted. On the plus side, though, all these fucking rebellions that have been driving me insane have given us the ability to obviously ransom out everybody in exchange for conversion. And what a fucking insane amount of conversion we've got. All of our vassals are, are just falling in line here. We've converted almost all of it to Mazdaean already. I don't know how we're doing in terms of culture. Obviously, culture is a different kettle of fish entirely. Um, I've been trying. I've, I've been basically staying on top of conversion as much as possible here. So we've got him converting uh, Behabad there and you, uh, Dara Bajurd, uh, <laughs> which is definitely how it's pronounced. Cultural conversion, I think, is a lot slower going, but we've done an okay job. You know, we bought back a decent amount there. 95, come on. 1500. He can only gone and he, 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 he can only do it now, even. By driving out the Muslims and restoring Zoroastrian rule over the entirety of the Persian Empire, a pious ruler may be recognized as Zoroaster's prophesied Seoshiant, a savior of the world. I am the one. The chosen 
of Zoroastra. Ever since the Sassanid Empire succumbed to the Arab invasions, Persia has suffered under the yoke of Mohammedan rulers. The last remnants of the old Zoroastrian order retreated north into the plains of Central Asia, but now, at long last, Zoroastrian rule over Persia has been restored. This miraculous recovery can only be attributed to my brilliant leadership, doubt that, and many amongst the clergy have decreed me to be the Seosheon, the saviour of the world that Zoroaster himself spoke of thousands of years ago. After embracing the role, I am now revered as a holy icon of Zoroastrians everywhere. We gain the trait, Seosheon, um, which is that. That's quite nice. Uh, we gain Seosheon Resurgent, giving piety 15 further, taking us up all the way to the top, and we gain a fancy nickname. And with that, my friends, I'm calling this one complete. Persian Empire with a Persian man with a restored Zoroastrian realm, which has more or less... I, I don't think there's anything that's ever going to be able to stop this at this point. Culture is coming back. I mean, culture can take obviously a long time. Like I said, culture isn't really too relevant anyway, because finding CK3, it's more or less irrelevant anyway, to be honest. They don't really care. Um, wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that one. I think we've done a great job. I guess only time will tell now if I was right. So why don't we time lapse it for as long as the game will run before exploding, basically. Um, we are basically playing base game CK2 here, um, which uh, CK3, which means it will only run until the 15th century anyway. So I'll try and run it right to the end of the game and we'll see if our Persian Empire stands strong. But comparing us to the rest of the world, I think we have a bloody strong chance. Here we are, 15 days short of the Renaissance, and obviously the game end there. The Persian Empire has blobbed quite a lot. I'm, I'm quite surprised how far they got. I genuinely thought it would fall apart long before they, uh, well, way before they would expand. Let's put it that way. I thought that there was only one way down from where we were. We expanded all the way up towards Siberia, all the way across the, the north of the Indian subcontinent there, and down into Arabia too. It's looking quite nice. Um... As per usual, you get into the stage of CK2 where Islam just starts to get absolutely out of control and blobbing everywhere. You can see ripping up through France there. Um, wow, Byzantines are actually doing all right for themselves, aren't they? Carpathia, Holy Roman Empire is a complete mess. Scotland has taken parts of England, so we won't talk about that one. All right, let's take a look then. Uh, we have at the top of the list, of course, what the fuck did I ever expect? Are you kidding me? Well, it's not our dynasty, not anymore. Uh, Suleimanid dynasty, um, led by this guy here, whoever the hell he is. Wow, interesting. Okay. Uh, the realm seems to have flipped over to Buddhism. D uh, yep. Okay. Right, let's have a look through then. So we had, uh, Abdullah Yokanazade. He was also Persian and he was, uh, sorry, he was, uh, he was Persian, but he was also Buddhist. His father was a Buddhist. Uh, his grandfather, who was a previous empire. Okay, so he was actually Mazdaean. Right. Um, and I bear in mind, Safrid is actually our dynasty. So House um, Isfist, is, is Isfahan there is most likely uh, a, a cadet branch. Because our dynasty, if you remember, our dynasty wasn't the head of the house. So chances are, when we stop playing, um, there he is. Murad the the, the Seosian made House uh, Is Isfahan as a as a second dynasty rather than Duran Duran, who I assume still exists. Yeah, so House Duran Duran exists in India still. Um, our dynasty became became those other guys became Is Isfahan instead. Well, there you are. Whoa, um, there's our current house head over there. So our dynasty is technically still on the throne, but via the matrilineal line. So what happened was our... Actually, what did happen here? So our... So this current character's great-great-grandmother, if I'm not mistaken, was our final character's great-great-granddaughter or something like that. Um, 
I don't like the fact that it's Buddhist. We'll take a look at the religion and culture matter. But it, it does mean that our dynasty does still sort of have the throne. Um, for whatever reason, are they married off matrilineally? Which is a bit of a ball ache. Um, but yeah, she married matrilineally to him and made this guy who was a different... Oh, that sucks. Um, or or this, this guy that we're looking at now. Oh, that's a shame. So our dynasty still sort of rules. The ruling family of Persia can still trace their dynasty back to um, House Duran Duran, which is quite nice. Or the Safrids, or, or whatever you want to call them. Um, but they didn't quite hang on till the end because of poor marriage choices. And that's a real sad way. It's not like there was even a big rebellion. They were deposed. It was just they kind of quietly petered out because of legalism, which sucks. Uh, and there you go. You can see... Oh, actually, does our current character... Does the current... Yeah, he does. So they do still descend, there you go, from our... It's a direct descendant of a Saocian. Oh, that's quite cool then. Okay, so we've got that going for us, which is quite nice. Um, let's take a look then at the cultures map mode to start off with. Uh, Persian looks as if it actually has been pushed back slightly. Um, we've lost some land around here, but gained more around where our capital used to be. Um, overall, it's a complete mess. What a surprise. This is what I'm really interested in seeing. Oh, wow, really? So we wiped out almost entirely Ashari, uh, only now present in, in kind of Morocco, Northern African region there. Um, almost completely annihilated from the Persian Empire. But then Mazdaean got flipped out for... For Buddhism, for whatever fucking reason. They are known for being horribly aggressive, aren't they, Buddhists? So this probably, probably explains a lot. Wow, I can't believe that. We built this massive Mazdaean realm and then they end up flipping to freaking Buddhist. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Well, let's see what else our dynasty has got going for us. Let's open the legacy. Um, mostly fair. Is this just the... Oh, right. Sorry. Yeah, we want to look at our dynasty, not this guy's current dynasty. Let's go back and then to your grandmother. Here we are. Right. Let's take a look at our dynasty legacy and see what we ended up with. Architected ancestry. So they got to pick a congenital trait and then assertive rulers for the short range duration. Damn, I'm a little disappointed in some ways that, that we lost it to just pure marriage. The religion is fucking nuts. I mean, I'm not really surprised with that at all because religion in CK3 is a very weird place right now that I imagine will change quite a lot with uh, with patch 1.1 coming out soon. But man, that was um, that was something, huh? Wow, I'm actually quite impressed. In some ways, I'm quite impressed that they stay on the throne, but otherwise, I'm quite disappointed just based on the fact that it was entirely based on poor marriages, like I said. Well, there we are. The Cursed Persian Empire. It was Buddhism all along. That was my secret Buddhist series for you all. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing next with this series, to be honest with you. Um, I have no idea what direction I'm going to take it in. Uh, sorry, not this series, but but CK3. I'm going to have a look out for some mods. We might go into the Bronze Age mod. Um, or alternatively, we might just go back to the base game and wait for patch 1.1 to come out. I'm not entirely sure. So I'll, I'll, I'll kind of have a... I'll do some research tonight and see what they've actually got going on. In the meantime, a big thank you to Milo Eyes, Silent Sentinel, Pang Power, Draconade, Chax, Justin Rules. Here we go again, 46. Eric 313, Ushanka, Namo, Milo Cthulhu, Fredamabob, Nostrus, Moon Cult Leader, Poop Feast 420, D-Money, Zulu, and everyone else at the executive producer tiers over on Coffee. A big thank you to... Uh, those guys for making the channel possible in the first place. And a thank you as well to Hoofenspiel, Mark is absent, Extra Small, Shlomo, Bizarro Jesus, Rovery, But I'm Homeless, Fatiban, Riley M, Bordoon, Jumpin' Jack, Paracosm, Madster2000, you at home for watching, and everyone else for their various supporting of the channel. Wow, that was, that was interesting.